we're talking to Sarah McInerney, a community pharmacist, who's been speaking on diabetes or professional services, particularly a diabetes program that she ran in her uh, set up and ran in her pharmacy in Kiama. Uh, so, Sarah, firstly, I suppose, the, why why diabetes? Like, what was the what prompted you to invest, I suppose, in that particular disease state? I suppose because initially it's a challenge because you see a lot of these people and we didn't know quite how to reach them. And really they're a huge part of your income, whether it's through dispensing or the services that you can attribute to them is derived from this group. And it's part of the, the government's um, health, scheme, health um, program. So that really is what drove it um, moving forward. And so uh, I suppose it's a, it is a complex thing and to reduce it to a few minutes is, is quite hard, but just to describe a couple of the key steps that you went through in the process of you know, deciding on that particular program you developed and then implementing it. Um, I suppose the major step was actually just demolishing everything that had been built there before and just saying we can do whatever we want in the dispensary flow and how things work, but we've got to re-engineer the whole process to incorporate these services. And then we just built from there, so built into the dispensing progress process, so it was something we could do every day with every customer, and then move through the volume of tools that we had on offer to us to making it a, a long-term proposition, so not just a, you've come into the pharmacy today, we'll do it, let's do it over a period of in time, engage the customer and, and get them to want to spend more time with us and tell us more things. I suppose that sort of deconstructing that you mentioned, I mean I noticed in the talk you actually said you know that you, you can't just add doing this sort of service on top of what you do, you've actually got to you know, really deconstruct your pharmacy and, and assess all your processes and systems. Yeah, because we just we dispense and we get very good at dispensing, um, you know, in a way. And everything that we do is it revolves around that process. I'm not saying you have to take that process out. You just need to put it in its proper place in the flow of where the customer wants it because they don't really understand the process of dispensing. It means nothing to them. So give them something that actually means something and, and has some value to them. And for people who might be worried about the cost of doing this or, you know, the both in time and financially, you know, do, do you feel that, you know, obviously the benefits for you did outweigh the costs in the end of the... The costs were the costs that are going to happen as a result of the PBS reforms. So basically I, I couldn't do anything about that. So the idea was how much could I not lose through this and really I suppose the inspiration is if you are up to date and can cope with change and implementing services now and moving forward, when the sixth community pharmacy agreement comes through or the seventh or whatever happens in the future, you're able to just adapt very quickly and the better you adapt the more income stream you've got, the more you're viable. And do you think this process, like going through such a heavy process to do this, it makes you sort of pre-adapted to adapt in future, like you know, it's then easier to do other oh, that things was the, well. That was the plan. So now that when we introduce any other service, there's just a really easy process to how to go. And there's no resistance. There's no resistance from the staff and there's no resistance from the, the customers. So once you remove the barriers and the resistance, everything can just move forward. And did it have to be explained to the customers? Like, was it a process of like, this is why I'm doing this or? No, it was more about changing the way that we communicated with the customers so that they would just see it as an engagement and they see that as an everyday process of coming to the pharmacy rather than it being a program. It's not a program or a package, it's just what we do. And, uh, finally, is, is there one particular thing you'd sort of, for people who want to, you know, thinking of going through this process, is there one thing you'd say, look, this is what you should look out for, or this is what you need to consider? Like, just a key message, I, I think you have to accept that not everything you implement is going to work and that you do need to review the process. And so we would just go through every three to six months and ask the staff and ask the customers how are they finding it. If it's a thumbs up, we just keep going with it. But if there's issues, then, then you tinker with them. But that's the main thing, make sure you review what you're doing, not get stuck back into a, you know, yeah. same old the pattern. The existing way of doing that's things. That's right, yeah. yeah. Okay, look, thank you for your time, Sarah. Thank you. It. Thank you.